It's 3.54. Thursday afternoon here in the Llama Lab and I'm finished for the day. Well, mostly. Today I had one of those, I wonder what would happen kind of thoughts. Now usually these aren't very useful thoughts that I have. And, uh, just putting technology together in certain ways that may be useful, may not be useful. Today, it's definitely not useful, but I need to have the question answered. What if? So the what if question that I had was, was it possible and what would happen if we connected two kickers to the one bike? On a scale from one to 10 of practicality, 10 being very practical, zero being hooking up two kickers together in series, um, this is definitely about a negative one. There's no reason to do this whatsoever. There's no training benefit. It's not fun. In fact, it's half as much fun because you're gonna get twice as much resistance in theory. I haven't actually sat on the bike and spun the pedals yet. I've just uh, got it all set up here the way I think it's gonna work. So what I have is, well, obviously two kickers. Kicker 18 here, which is quiet. Kicker 17 back here, which is where the noise is gonna come from. We have the straight chain line. So that should be pretty tight through there. Obviously restricted gearing because you're not gonna be able to change up here on the back too much. The kicker at the back here is weighted down or locked down with the rocker plate that I'm currently uh, testing on. More on that soon. This one is obviously sat down on, uh, on its behind because that's where my behind is, weighting everything down here. But this one's gonna be pulled forward and up, I think. I haven't tested it yet. It is locked down with these straps. They're both turned on again. This is just a bit of fun because I want to answer the question. Another thing I was thinking about is sim mode, erg mode, level mode. What am I going to be able to do? Well, sim mode is out because we're only going to be able to control one trainer at a time with sim mode. And even if I was to run, say, two instances of Zwift, that's not going to work either because you've got two different avatars. They may be drafting and one goes up a hill differently. It's just not going to work with two avatars. We need these things doing the same thing at the same time, which means erg mode. The solution I've thought of to test this is using erg mode with the Wahoo Fitness app, two different phones, setting say 100 watts on this one, 100 watts on this one, and then measuring, oh it turns, what we see through the pedals. My theory, 100 watts here, 100 watts here erg mode, should equal 200 watts on the pedals. Now I don't expect this to be perfect and I'm sure it's not gonna be 200 watts because there's gonna be loss, there's gonna be movement, there's gonna be, uh, who knows what's gonna happen when I actually sit on the bike in a few minutes. But that's my test today. 100 watts, 100 watts, maybe 125, 125, maybe 200, 200. We'll see how it goes. And we'll see what it measures on the pedals. Again, practicality, zero, fun. Well, 10 out of 10 for my fun. This is what I do in my spare time. So let's jump on the bike and see if this holds together. I think I've got everything set up. Let's go. Okay, my initial test is going to be just in these shoes. I'll switch to my bike shoes in a minute. I just need to make sure this is going to be physically sound which I don't think it's gonna be, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, well we have movement. Okay, it's a bit of, like it's pulling up at the end. The gearing seems to be okay, so I'll leave it in that gear for now, but I need some reinforcements here on the back. My 20 kilo weight for calibrating power meters. It's 10. Okay, weighted down. Okay, let's see if we get a bit more stability out of that now. Better, better. It seems to be steady state's okay. The acceleration's kind of moving around a bit. That should be okay for our erg mode test. That's kind of working. <laughs> okay, we're getting serious now. Bike shoes go on. Now, this is not gonna be a full workout. This is just gonna be how good are my numbers or how close are the numbers that I can get to with my theory of 100, 100 equals 200 on the pedals. Plus or minus, probably 10% I'm thinking. Okay. Oh, not much back pedal happening there. 
Easy does it. Okay, onto the phones. Okay, we have kickers on both. Each kicker is set there. Workout, workout. Uh, indoor trainer Three, audio start, two, start. One, go. Now we go across. Erg. Erg. On that one. Okay, so we have zero watts. And away we go, just ever so gently. Start the head unit here. So I've wound up to a cadence where I'd be comfortable at about 200 watts at. Okay. And now I'm gonna up them both to 100 watts erg mode. One, two. A little bit of rattling happening in the back there. Don't worry about the rattling. <laughs> the reading on the pedals. 181, 187, 191, 193, 194, 190, 196, 202, 197, plus or minus a few watts for my bodgy uh, setup here. That's working an absolute treat. <laughs> That's hilarious to see. Okay, 125 watts on both. Twenty-five, which should give us two fifty watts on the pedals. <laughs> two forty-five, two fifty, spot on the money. Two fifty-two, two forty-four, two forty-six, two fifty-four. <laughs> there we have it, the Wahoo Kicker Kicker, the Wahoo Kicker Squared, or as it should be labeled, the Wahoo WTF are you doing? <laughs> How high can we go? 225 on both. Four fifty, there we go. <laughs> four forty four, four forty five. Well, there we have it. And I'm out of breath. Sometimes questions like that just need to be answered. So today, bit of fun here in the Lamba Lab. Thanks for watching and don't try this at home. I'll see you soon.